like any typical high school student, we, we do, do the arts. arts. We also do the sciences and business. Here at Jonathan Grant High School, there are four of us who also do driving it. Good morning, Miss Clark. Good morning, Miss Clark. Good morning. It's another episode of School Zone, and as you can see, we're journeying with the students of the Driving Ed program at the Jonathan Grant High School. Right now, we're joining them at one of their driving training areas in Elfham Park, where we're going to witness firsthand what one of their classes is all about. But before we begin, let's learn some more about the program. At Jonathan Grant High School, we pride ourselves in being innovative and creative. And so as a result of that, we decided that we were going to try with our students to ensure as many as possible to leave our institution with a driver's license. Uh, and as part of that, we, 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 we wanted to ensure that all students leave with TRN as well. So the driver's license um, experience was part of that package. And so we decided to roll it out to students who are at um, age 17. And so we managed to to enroll about five or six students. We wanted more, but five or six students came forward. And so as a result of that, the Driving Education 101 was rolled out. The trainer, Mr. Frank, um, his wife, uh, former vice principal of this institution, he, he, he does this for a living. And so when we came up with the idea with the, with, for the program, he's the first person that came to my mind. I sat down with him and spoke with him, and he decided to give us a package which I believe was reasonable. The school decided to, to, to put up front the, the amount charged by Mr. Frank for three students and then the others pay. I'm, I'm hoping that come next school year that the program will be, will be bigger. We can have at least 10, 20 students in the program and no doubt I'm going to seek some, some funding from elsewhere. <music> All the students in the program are at the upper school, grade um, 10, 11, 12, 30. They're on the afternoon shift, which starts at 12. So they'll go to Mr. Frank at about 9 o'clock in the morning. We pick them up at school, take them to the location where we have the obstacle to training, and then we time them as one finish a the time, they shift over to we the wheel, another one take over, and we go through the process. We do the pre-driving inspection, where you check your documents, know the expiration of your documents, check on your engine to know the oil level, the fuel level, water level, and so on. Then we do the uh, engine, the, the tire check and the lights to make sure they know they, when they are functioning. After they going through that, then we introduce them to the vehicle where they know the controls, the name of the controls, the usage. Following that, then we go through the forward driving. As soon as they are comfortable with the forward driving, we do some turn, left and right turn, and some stops and moving off. After they are comfortable with that now, then we introduce unit two, which is reverse. When we introduce reverse, first we get to introduce them how to do straight reverse. Soon as they are comfortable with the straight reverse, then we do the left and back up. Left and back up out of the road and come to the left side. Soon as they are comfortable with the left side, we go to the right side. And real life situation that helps them to take a car out of the driveway to put it out on the road and to do the left and right back up. After they are comfortable with that now, then we introduce them to the S-Bend. And what is the S-Bend now, as the name suggests? That prepare them like they are in a parking lot and they are learning how to maneuver without touching the other vehicles in the lot. Soon as they are comfortable with that, then we introduce them to the parallel parking, Unit 3. And parallel parking is like a parking between two vehicles on the sidewalk, left and right hand side. That's it. Okay, so we line up with the first marker there then. Pull lock to your left. Good, and then you straighten your wheel and you notify the examiner to finish by blowing your hand or tooting your hand. Now we are exiting the parking area. Okay guys, so that is it for today's practice. Well done, I'm proud of you all. Yes, yes well done. Hi Jamaica, we are the first batch of students from the Jonathan Grant High School to be a part of the Driving Ed program. You're watching School Zone. Zone. 
safety and confidence are two crucial components of this driving course. So how can we achieve that? By listening to your instructor, adhering to your road rules slash road code, be aware of your surrounding, and be confident in what you're doing. So we've made our way back to the school campus, and right now we're gonna be speaking to the five lucky students of the driving ed program. We're gonna be asking them about their thoughts on the course. We decided to do this program because it is essential and it's a skill that we'd love to have in the future and it is very beneficial to us as students to learn how to drive because as you know we're six farmers and we'll be going to colleges and learning to drive and getting our license at the end of the course means taking a next step like buying a car and driving to school. I was a little excited knowing that I'll be learning how to drive. Even though I was learning before, my dad taught me, taught me a little about driving before. But during each lesson, I've learned a lot more. Um, for example, learning the left hand back up, the right hand back up. And I didn't really know how to do the parallel parking. So I've learned a lot since then. exam basically is split into three different sections. You have the written test, the on camp on ground test and the road test. So the written test is broken down into mechanical and road code, which I really had a problem with the mechanical because um, you have more than one correct answers and when you think you know, sometimes you don't. So I was really nervous when it came down to that but I passed so that means others can too. Learning to drive is not a right it's a privilege and once you are afforded that privilege then I believe that you should make the best of it. My mother saw it actually she was and still is excited about the program because she sees it as something that will help me to further my future. My name is Hortense Wellington and I'm Elian's mom and I'm so enthused about him doing this program. It is a big achievement on his part and I'm really, really proud of him. And I'm also proud of the program for allowing them this opportunity to excel in this venture. He has big dreams of owning his own trucking company so this, having his license, will enable him to venture out on that dream of his. Thank you so much, Miss Wellington. And this is such a fitting way to end the program for today. Thank you so much for joining with us. If you want to watch this program all again, simply visit our website, jis.gov.jm. And if you think you have what it takes to be featured in School Zone, email me at sclark at jis.gov.jm. I'm Sandra Clark, reminding you that... We got a license and you can too. Drive good.